Hello everyone, uh, in this video we're just going to be introducing uh, supply network design. Uh, so this is week 9 of uh, management and administration of operations. Uh, the last couple of weeks have all been fairly intertwined. We've looked at layout design, uh, we've looked at quality management and we've looked at process design. Uh, and that's involved very much at the level of the process as well as the level of the operation. Uh, which if you remember back to our first lecture are the two lower levels uh, that we're looking at. Um, for this week, supply network design and next week, which is uh, supply chain management, uh, we're actually going to be looking at the level of the network itself. So we're going to be pulling the camera out and looking at how our operation actually interacts with other operations as well. So we have both upstream operations, which supply components and material, as well as downstream operations, uh, which are closer to the end consumer. So the consumer is uh, the ultimate consumer of whatever product or service our operation is involved in providing. Uh, so you may have many customers within a supply network or a uh, supply chain, uh, but you only really have one ultimate consumer. Uh, so you may, if you're selling, say, cans of Coke, um, there may be multiple companies involved in buying and selling the cans, uh, but there's only really one person who actually drinks or consumes the can itself. Uh, so we are, for this week and next week, going to be looking at the level of the supply network and the supply chain. In terms of the key questions uh, you guys should be asking yourselves uh, at the end of uh, this week, you should be able to define a supply network, understand what a supply network perspective is, um, as well as these two key elements, understand the location of particular activities within an operation, um, which we're going to be looking at when it comes to offshoring, as well as uh, how operations decide if any activities should be done by a third party, uh, which is known as outsourcing.